Welcome back. In this module, we're going to look at a bunch of things you can do with strings. You've already learned how to do quite a bit with strings. You can print them, assign them to variables, and even convert them to ints and back. Every string consists of some number of characters. Let's take a closer look at this string. There we go. We can see that this string has a total of nine characters, seven letters, one space, and one exclamation point. Each character has what's called an index, which represents its position in the string. The indices start at zero. This is important to remember. So important that we made a little cartoon to help you. In most programming languages, numerical sequences of things start at zero. You might remember this being true by default with the variable i in for loops. Okay, back to indices. You can say that in this case, the zeroth character in the string is a lowercase h, the second character is a space, etc. Each character can also be identified with a negative number. The rule here is that the last character always has the index negative one, and as you go left, the indices go down by one each time. Okay, sorry, one more digression. The word index has two acceptable pluralizations in English, indices and indexes. It doesn't really matter which one you use. In this course, we'll be using indices. Okay, back to business. So each character in a string can be identified by a couple of different numbers. Big deal. Where can we use this? So you already know how to print an entire string. You can use an index to print just a single character from a string. If you want to print a particular character in a string, you provide the index of the character you want in square brackets after the name of the variable that holds your string. In this example, we're printing the zeroth character. We can also print the second character, which doesn't show up because it's a space. And we can print the negative first character, which is the last character. Now, when you index into a string to get a particular character, you have to remember to use square brackets, not parentheses. Using parentheses will cause an error. The error says stir object is not callable, and this is because Python thinks you're trying to treat the string like a function call. You should also be aware of using an index that isn't actually in the acceptable range of indices for the string. In this case, the string has nine characters, but since we start at zero, the biggest possible index is eight. Thus, an index of nine is out of range, which causes an error.